Welcome to Dancing into STEM. I'm Arushi and here's my friend Ramya. We both learn and perform the Indian classical dance form Bharatanatyam. Today we will be showing you how plants grow. A plant begins its life as a seed, a small package that contains everything the plant needs to get started. Seeds can be dormant, that is, inactive for a long time sometimes years. When the seed lands in soil and can absorb water, it begins the process of germination. First, a tiny radical breaks out through the seed coat. This will become the plant's root and can absorb water and nutrients from the soil. The root also helps firmly anchor the plant to the soil. Next, a tiny shoot emerges along with the first leaves. The shoot grows into the stem of the plant, which bears the leaves so that they can absorb sunlight. Did you know that the leaves of plants use the sunlight they absorb along with water and nutrients from the soil to make food? That's how plants are able to make the yummy fruits and veggies that we eat. As the plant grows, the stem gets larger and it develops many more leaves. Soon, we start to see flowers. Flowers help attract bees and other insects and even small birds like hummingbirds. When a bee lands on a flower, it picks up some of the flower's pollen, a yellow powdery substance, and takes it to another flower. When this happens, the flower is pollinated and can begin developing into a fruit. Within the fleshy part of the fruit is the seed. Animals and humans eat the fruit but leave the seed. The seed falls to the ground, absorbs water, and the cycle begins all over again. The Alaripu is a traditional opening piece in Bhartanatyam, and the word Alaripu means to bloom or blossom. So. We think the Alaripu is a wonderful way to show you all about plant growth. We modified the traditional Alaripu a bit to show you the different stages that plants go through. Watch and listen carefully. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed learning about how plants grow and about the Alaripu in this episode of Dancing into STEM. 